Welcome fellow travelers to our video series exploring the hidden treasures of the Hokuriku region of Japan. Today we're taking you off the beaten path to reveal why Matsumoto should be at the very top of your travel itinerary. While most tourists flock to the bustling cities of Kyoto and Tokyo, Matsumoto offers a refreshing alternative. First and foremost, Matsumoto is home to one of Japan's most beautiful and well-preserved castles, Matsumoto Castle. Unlike the massive crowds in larger cities, here you can truly savor the beauty and the historical significance of this national treasure at your own pace. Another reason to choose Matsumoto is for its enchanting natural beauty. Whether it's the blooming cherry blossoms in the springtime, the vibrant foliage around the mountains in autumn, or the serene covered landscapes during the wintertime. Third, Matsumoto is home to some amazing temples including Gofukuji, which is nestled in the surroundings of Matsumoto. It's renowned for its beautiful gardens, awe-inspiring architecture, and a profound sense of peace. How to get to Matsumoto? One of the best ways to get to Matsumoto is by using the Hokuriku Arch Pass. This pass will bring you within reach of all the hidden treasures we will be recommending in this series. It will take you from Tokyo to Nagano to Kanazawa, Fukui, and eventually Kyoto and Osaka. And through the side trips is where you're gonna find those hidden gems. But do note to get to Matsumoto from Nagano, it will require paying for separate transportation, but it is well worth it. And we have a separate video specifically about the Hokuriku Arch Pass. From Nagano, you wanna take the Shinano Express train. It will take about 53 minutes to go from Nagano station to Matsumoto station. And while you can take a local train, we don't recommend it because sometimes it could be jam packed with people and that means you're gonna to have to stand, and if you have luggage, that won't be any fun. And if you're coming from Nagoya on the opposite side, you can also take the Shinano Express, but that will take about two hours and 15 minutes. Matsumoto Castle, also known as the Crow Castle, or Karasujo in Japanese, due to its black exterior, is designated as a national treasure of Japan, and is personally one of our favorites. Built in the late 16th century, Matsumoto Castle is one of the few remaining original castles in Japan retaining its original wooden structure and integrity. It's crazy to think that the government almost tore down Matsumoto Castle in the 19th century as Japan was modernizing and looking to move beyond its feudal past. Renowned for its black exterior, this is a rarity in Japanese castles. The imposing six-story main keep features a blend of defensive elements and elegant architectural design. But what's probably most important is that this castle was built on a plain, whereas most castles in Japan are built on a hill or at least near rivers. This is known as Hirajiro. Climbing to the top of Matsumoto Castle is fun, though the stairways are really narrow and you can see the small windows that were used by archers. And also there is an armory display as well as some weapons. And the view from the top is quite rewarding as on a clear day, you can see the Japanese Alps in the background. And of course, a view of the city and the castle grounds. And finally, Matsumoto Castle is a pleasant 15 minute walk from Matsumoto Station. Matsumoto City Museum of Art. After visiting the castle, you can take a 20 minute walk to the Matsumoto City Museum of Art. Along the way, you're gonna pass many cafes and shops. We recommend that you try the soba buckwheat noodles. The region is known for growing high quality soba and they credit that to the clean air and the pristine waters. Matsumoto is the hometown of world famous artist, Yayoi Kusama. Even if you're not familiar with her, you've probably seen her pumpkins or polka dots. We were lucky enough to enjoy some of her works of art on Naoshima Island and hope to visit her collection called The Place of My Soul, which is at the Matsumoto City Museum of Art. Now, let's take a step back and experience the enchanting ambiance of Narajuku, a historic post town nestled along the Nakasendo Trail. As you enter the gateways of this well-preserved Edo period town, you'll be transported to an era when travelers sought refuge from their arduous journeys. We're talking about merchants, wary travelers, and samurai. The Nakasendo Trail is an ancient road in Japan that embodies a historic journey that winds through picturesque landscapes and harsh terrain. It connected Kyoto to Tokyo in the Edo period and still exists today where sections can be trekked. Some sections are more adventurous than others and you might even encounter a bear. A post town was a vital hub along these old trade routes where travelers could rest and replenish their supplies. If you wanted to, you can go further south and hike through the more adventurous but highly rewarding post towns of Tsumago or Magome. Narajuku with its preserved wooden traditional buildings and stone paved streets offers a glimpse into the past vibrant atmosphere of a post town from centuries ago. As you soak in the charm of this post town, you can explore the traditional shops and check out craftsmanship. Combs are popular here. 
and located just a short distance from Matsumoto, Narajuku is easily accessible via a scenic train ride. The downside to this is more tourists come and they actually allow cars on this road. Take the Shinonoi line from Matsumoto to Narai Station. Let me introduce you to Heidi's favorite temple in all of Japan, Gofukuji. A short drive from Matsumoto Station, this historic Buddhist temple is renowned for its beautiful gardens, awe-inspiring architecture, and profound sense of peace. While we visited, there were only a handful of visitors there, and we were the only Westerners, and there were even active prayers taking place. If you want to visit one of the most beautiful Buddhist temples in all of Japan without the hordes of tourists, then you want to come here. Gofukuji is a Shingon Buddhist temple located in Matsumoto, Nagano Prefecture. It was founded in 1592 by Todo Takatora, a prominent samurai and feudal lord. The temple is dedicated to the Buddhist deity Dainichi Nyorai, and it is one of the most important temples in the Shingon Buddhist sect. How do you get there? The easiest way to get there would be to hire a taxi from Matsumoto Station, and that would take about 25 minutes. You can also rent a car from Matsumoto City. If neither of these options will do, then you can take a bus. The Matsumoto bus terminal is about four or five minute walk from Matsumoto Station, and from here you can take a bus that will take you to the Rose Garden, and from here, you'd have to walk the rest of the way, which is almost another 30 minutes. But it's worth it. Kamikochi. Kamikochi is a hidden gem nestled in the heart of the Japanese Alps, and just a short distance from Matsumoto. Kamikochi is a pristine alpine valley surrounded by towering peaks, glistening rivers, and lush forests. Whether you're an avid hiker or simply seeking solace in nature, Kamikochi's proximity to Matsumoto makes this an ideal place to immerse yourself in nature among the Japanese Alps. Note that Kamakochi is closed from the 15th of November 2023 and will be closed until approximately April 15th, 2024 due to the weather. From the Matsumoto bus terminal, which is just a short walk from Matsumoto Station, take the National Park Liner to Kamakochi bus terminal and walk about seven minutes to the Kamakochi Visitor Center. Of course, there are a lot of other types of transportation and just a lot more to do here, so we'll link to the official site in the description below. Seasons in Matsumoto. The springtime is the most popular time to visit Matsumoto as the mountains are snow-capped and cherry blossoms abound, especially near Matsumoto Castle. The cherry blossoms usually bloom from mid-April to the beginning of May. Of course, check the forecast as that can change. In the summertime, the temperatures are usually mild, so it's a great time to be outdoors. However, this past summer when we were there, it baked like the rest of Japan. In autumn, the weather does get a little bit cooler, but it's still a great time to be outdoors and do some hiking, especially in many of the parks where the foliage will turn a vibrant red, gold, and orange. And in the wintertime, it's a skier's paradise as the hiking trails are closed. So this season offers a unique time to experience the snow-capped mountains. There are nearby ski resorts, such as in Hakuba, which attract winter sports enthusiasts from around the world. We hope you now see why Matsumoto is a must-visit place to avoid crowds. We'll soon be releasing other videos of the Hokuriku region, so please subscribe. Next, you might want to watch our guide to the Hokuriku Arch Pass. It will give you a better understanding of the route and why we think it is the best alternative to the JR Pass. Thanks for watching.